Hello. <laughs> Please tell me your full name. Again, Miss Corey. Really, Cormayree. Cormayree. That's your maiden name and your last name? Yeah. Okay. That's me. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, let me just go get a close up of this video. Of it. Wait, wait, no, I have to see. Because <laughs> everybody. Okay, I'm having a hard time focusing if I get too close. I'm going to have to take a still picture of it later on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, Miss Cora. <laughs> Miss Reed, I should call no, you. No, Miss Reed, Cora. Right. Cora? Okay, Miss Cora. Cora. <laughs> so what year were you born, if I don't mind asking? Mm -hmm. And you have lived here in Hampton how long? Hampton University? And his father graduated from here and he was secretary to uh, General Armstrong. Wow. And uh, his mother graduated from here and his stepmother. And when he graduated from here, he uh, taught lectures in the trade school. That was his trade. Mm -hmm. And um, he made the first talking movie here in Hampton. Ah, okay. And um, I went to college here. I did not want to because I grew up on the campus and I wanted to get away for a change. Mm -hmm. But I visited about four black colleges and I didn't like them. Mm -hmm. So I came back to Hampton and I graduated in 44. Okay. And I don't regret it at all. And my oldest brother graduated from me. When I was in Hampton in World War II, they graduated the guys right out of school. So there weren't many civilian guys around, but there were a lot of sailors and soldiers here. They had special programs in World War II. And my brother uh, finished just about all his freshman year and he was drafted. And he went for three years, then he came back and finished as a veteran. When I came home in 51, there were a lot of veterans back here. Mm -hmm. I was in New York. I was a nursery school teacher in New York and Baltimore. Mm -hmm. And I came back here in 61, and I got a job uh, teaching in the nursery school. They always had a private nursery school for kids on campus. Okay. And uh, I worked there for two years. Okay. And you know, I'm going to bring the camera in closer because okay. we're talking really low yeah. since it's the office, and I just want to make sure yeah, okay. that I'm going to be able to do this. Okay. Uh, All right. Oh, I was in nursery school work for two years. I replaced a lady who went to Columbia to get her master's, and when she came back, they didn't have a place for me. So then I worked in the registration office for about a year, and then I got this offer in the library to work, and I told them, I said, I've never had success. That's okay, we'll teach you on the job. So I went over and observed for two weeks, and I decided I liked it, so I've been in the library ever since. I've been working in the library February the 10th, I would have been working here 55 years. Wow. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Mm -hmm. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really out of work with such nice people. Mm -hmm. And they're nice to the old lady. That's good. <laughs> I heard you were born here. In, yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, my mother was from Hampton. My dad's from Portsmouth. Okay. And I was born here. They had a school doctor at that time, and he delivered me and my brothers. Mm -hmm. yeah. What was your dad's name? William William T. Reed, R E I D. And William your mother's Reed. name? Mamie. May Beeman Reed. Okay. She and was, she was from Hampton also. Okay. And you said your father was one of the founders of the beach? No, he was on the board of directors. Ah, board slight of, difference. Yeah, <laughs> board of directors here. Yeah. He uh -huh. loved the beach. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what what did he have to do as a, um, being on the director? Board? You know, I really don't know. They used to have these meetings, you know, mm -hmm. and I really don't know. Mm -hmm. They had a hotel down there. It wasn't a it wasn't a fabulous speech at all, and they it was they had it was like I told you it was segregated, and the, you're not going to believe this. They had this wide, tall, wide fence that went out in the wall and separated the beach. Went out in the water and separated the beaches. Mm. Mm. Separated the beaches. Okay. But at night, the whites would come over on our side <laughs> and party with us. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what but time? Excursions what time would come down from from Richmond every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Excursion trains to mm -hmm. the beach would come down. Okay. And what were you I was asking um what about what time period are is are these memories of your beach of the beach, I mean. Oh, all my all my life. Okay. Mm -hmm. So beginning maybe when you were four or five years old? Oh, uh, let's see. Now that picture that you have of me, I think I'm about ten years old then. Okay. I don't remember going down there any earlier than that. I might have but I don't remember. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I know Uncle Tom used to take us down there. Okay. That man that's on that picture with me, mm-hmm. he taught me my grandmother's brother-in-law, Thomas Turner. He's a famous scientist, botanist. Mm-hmm. And he taught here for years. And they have a Turner Hall is named for him. Mm, okay.